So one thing that I would have loved to see in Black Ops 6 would have been the aftermath, like the direct aftermath of the Panama mission in Black Ops 2. There was a lot of talk of that in the marketing. There was a lot of talk of that in the podcast that the developers were making. And so, I don't know, I'm not going to say that I was misled um, or falsely advertised something that I thought was going to happen. But I just thought there would have been more involvement in that. I would have thought there would have been a flashback scene, maybe including Alex Mason or including Russell Adler or Jane Harrow or maybe even Troy Marshall at the 1989 Panama mission where things went wrong. Uh, maybe they were just on communications or, or something like that. I think just seeing something to tie it all more together it would have been a much better way to do it than the way that they did it. And I would have loved to actually play through that. And I think a lot of fans of the series wanted that to get some closure and to really just tie things up. But we didn't get any of that. We do, however, know who the mole was finally in Panama. Jane Harrow was the mole in Panama that caused Raul Menendez to get his hands on Hudson, Jason Hudson, and Alex Mason, and get Woods uh, maimed. So the thing is that we talked a little bit about this in a previous episode that I made on Jason Hudson specifically, but, but the CIA blamed Russell Adler for what happened in Panama. They thought that he was the mole. They also checked Russell Adler's bank account, and there was a wire transfer of a big sum of money into Russell Adler's account by Raul Menendez. Now, the CIA bought it, and they thought that it was Adler, but Woods kind of speculated that he had been framed. Russell Adler also knew that he was framed because obviously he didn't, he never took any money from Raul Menendez. And so Adler went on the run after that. You know, he, he, he escaped, he went MIA and nobody had seen him. Now the person that did this and pointed the arrow towards Russell Adler was Jane Harrow of the CIA. And the reason that she did this was initially thought to be because of money. Woods himself says, well, Raul Menendez is swimming in drug money. So he probably paid off Jane Harrow. Do I think it was Harrow? Don't know. Probably. Pantheon's got a war chest. Could be she traded me, Mason, and Hudson for a mountain of cash. Raul Menendez is swimming in drug money. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Hero. But that seemed very, very weak to me. I also mentioned that in a previous episode. It just, it didn't seem like a valid reason for Jane to do this. I think that her motivation on a particular level, because we know her a little bit, I think her motivation would have gone much deeper. Very soon after that, we find out that Jane Harrow is part of Pantheon, the organization that wants to take over the United States and then control the world. We also find out that Jason Hudson had caught wind of someone infiltrating the CIA. We also found out that Jason Hudson knew about a group named Pantheon that wanted to take over the CIA. And we know that Hudson told Russell Adler about it. He confided in him. And so now if Jane Harrow caught wind of this, which I truly believe that she did, she got Jason Hudson in the crosshairs of Raul Menendez to get him killed. And now Alex Mason was maybe a casualty for that. Maybe she serves up Jason Hudson to Raul Menendez and serves up Alex Mason and everything points towards the crazy terrorist Raul Menendez and nobody even blinks or thinks of Pantheon or any infiltration ever again. And that's why the Panama mission went sideways. That's why Jason Hudson died. That's why Alex Mason died. And that's why Frank Woods was maimed. Now, they put out after this the capture order for Russell Adler. And I also believe that Jane Harrow was behind this as Jane Harrow wanted and needed Russell Adler dead for her own reasons. Maybe she knew that Jason Hudson had confided in him about Pantheon. What do you think of Jane Harrow being the mole in the 1989 Panama mission that went wrong.